ben Wessel Simons van Bitcoin Magazine. Uh, we're, hard, we're here with uh, Globi Tax. Uh, could you f please introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, Wessel. Yeah. Good to be here. Um, my name is Lisa Eisbeerde, and I'm the managing director of Globe Tax. Globe Tax is a European uh, crypto fiat um, exchange. Okay. Uh, could you, uh, what's your first impression of this day? I mean, we're here with a day at the crypto in Amsterdam. What's your first, you're going to be one of the presenters tomorrow, I think, eh? Yes, I believe I should be one of the presenters tomorrow, although the, the schedule is still being fixed as of as of now. Okay. Uh, we were presenters uh, during the London Tape, which mm -hmm. is also a crypto economy conference. Uh, yeah. Previously, also, there's one more in San Francisco. Yeah. We, we didn't present there, but we did do a presentation with John Jones uh, on the stage in London. What were the re reactions in London uh, at your presentation? Well, um, I was told this, that was the best presentation, but you know, that's, the best probably, presentation. that's probably what they say to everyone. But no, it was it was great. It was lovely. Um, you know, in terms of audience, uh, the organizers did a great job in, in, in making it all happen. Okay. And uh, today's uh, conference seems to be very well attended, so it's it's uh, great. Okay. So, uh, Globitex, could, could you please short uh, describe what kind of profile it has? It's, it's compared to to, to GDEX, eh? uh, yes, correct. Well, um, Globitex is an institutional grade uh, cryptocurrency exchange. We yeah. started back in 2014 and we've had built this uh, product for a very long time to just launch last year in May. Uh, we have geared it towards an institutional investor, a yeah. trader, fund manager with all the tools available, uh, especially as uh, fixed API, reporting tools, GUI interfaces. Okay. Um, there's lots of lots of uh, benefits for an institutional uh, trader to actually use uh, Globitex. And oh, what's, what's more, the, sorry. Yeah. there's one more thing. Yeah. Uh, we've also a group company of Globitex has been awarded uh, an ME license um, in Europe. Mm -hmm. So um, we will effectively have an ability to issue our own IBAN accounts to our clients. Sorry, the last thing uh, you have to clarify. Um, so this is um, this is very uh, unprecedented. We're in a space where yeah. a Bitcoin or cryptocurrency-related business um, has a partnership with an electronic money institution, which is our own group company, yeah. which will allow us to our clients at Globotex issue their own IBAN accounts. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, and what's the minimal investment we're talking about? I mean, it's like uh, 1 million euros or I'm, I'm sure 100,000 euros to invest uh, at, your, uh, at your exchange as an institutional investment. So, actually, there is no minimum. There's Obviously, no minimum. we have just uh, launched, so we're acquiring clients and we're not imposing any minimums whatsoever. Uh, but, but of course but, but, we should always uh, remember there's also the retail clients, so yeah. we are completely open to retail and institutional oh, investors alike. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So at the moment, uh, uh, what, uh, how much customers do you have? You just, or? I can't disclose the exact okay. number of okay. how many customers we do have, but mm. we do have, we onboard more than uh, 100 clients per day. So obviously it's one of the reasons why there's not thousands and thousands of clients per day is because uh, we're new to the, to the industry. Mm. But uh, we have definitely a product which is geared towards, uh, you know, being able to compete uh, well in the existing industry. So it's actually, uh, when you compare it to Coinbase, Bitstamp, etc., Kraken, etc., uh, you're also an exchange but based in Europe, like Bitstamp actually. Correct. Um, what kind of different different experience can you yeah, bring on the table? Uh, for? Uh, That's a very good question. Yeah. Well, um, actually, as I said, in 2014 we came on um, started trading ourselves yeah. and we saw that uh, none of the exchanges offered what we needed and we come from an institutional background we used to be fund managers ourselves we traded proprietary uh, uh, strategies in arbitrage and commodities uh, across the globe okay. with physical delivery so we came on to, to a cryptocurrency industry saying that it's not really what we needed, like reporting was not there, the orders, uh, API, fix was, was just non-existent. Okay. So what we did, we developed a product as uh -huh. we saw uh, it to have to, you know, the industry needed one. 
So right now, the comparable advantages of the existing with the existing players is that the API is uh, is very robust. It's the best in the industry. I would say it is the oh, yeah. best in the industry. Okay. The, the GUI interface is modular. You can uh, it's geared towards night and day trader. You can reorganize your your modules if you don't like the layout. You can make your own and save it as a user preference. So, the, the, so there's mm. quite a few uh, small and bigger uh, items that's on on the benefit list. And the customers you're focusing on are, for instance, uh, pension funds. That one, uh, I'm not. What, what kind of, or uh, a trade and hedge fund, or a trading fund, or. Absolutely. Um, yeah. At this very conference, we've been approached by quite a few algorithmic trader funds. Okay. So they're actually ready to, to come in and, and um, explore the market. If a hedge fund or a, a pension fund has a mandate to invest in or trade in cryptocurrencies, they're welcome to write into our platform and, uh, and explore it. And actually your API, they can use, of course, your API and, and just uh, put it in their, in their business systems and then they can trade from the desktop absolutely absolutely okay. for trading it's all set and done and once we integrate fully with our regulated uh, institution in lithuania we also will allow api based payment system so you will also be able to effectively use our api for payments okay so and it's it's regulated by uh, european yeah. european authorities i mean that is of course part of the european union you got a license uh, to, to have this exchange, of course. Uh, so the team is based in Latvia. Yeah. Um, and the, the, the regulation is actually from the Lithuanian Central Bank. Oh, the, yeah, okay. So um, due, that, due to that, we'll be, we'll be merging from the UK registered structure onto the Lithuanian structure uh, soon. Mm. Okay. And that operates within the European... Uh, on European soil. I mean. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So the license is passportable, so you can passport it across to all the EU nations. EU nations. Okay, okay. Um, and what kind of due diligence uh, systems are in place uh, with investors? Uh, for instance, when I want to open an account, I just have a scan of my passport and then I can, can trade? Or what kind of due diligence uh, levels do you have, of course? That looks more like an individual account, so yeah. yes, that would be sufficient for an individual account. But yeah. um, we are fully uh, compliant with the EU directive for AML KYC. Okay. Uh, once we migrate to our uh, Lithuanian regulated entity, we'll, we'll have a little bit more stringent AML KYC system in place. So it's going to be a process of migration. It's not going to happen in one day, but um, yes, it's fully it's fully compatible with uh, and compliant with uh, EU regulation on AML KYC. Okay, sounds good. Uh, of course, then there's the ICO. Eh? I mean, you're uh, full preparing an ICO. Uh, when is the ICO? Yeah, issued. I mean, uh, when does the ICO start? Sure, or there's a sure. pre ICO sale, of course. So, the reason why we're running the ICO is pretty much uh, looking into future. We have already a working product, it's a spot exchange for cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. We're obviously looking to increase the offering both in fiat and in, in, in cryptos. But the way we see future going forward is actually making the cryptocurrencies as uh, the most used medium of, account, uh, medium of exchange and the unit of account. What does it mean? Yeah. It yeah. means we want to link the cryptocurrencies to something of value. And in our view, from our experience, what a currency makes a currency is actually mm -hmm. the values or the use cases you attach to them. So the demand for that currency increases. And in our case, we want to list cryptocurrencies against commodities. We want to we want to perfect the money markets for cryptocurrencies, okay. and also we want to list um, crypto or token indices, the futures thereof. Okay. All of that will require additional regulatory work, additional development, and this is the reason why we are raising additional funds, and that's why we're raising uh, basically uh, carrying out uh, an ICO, for which the okay. private presale is done. Are the pre-sales done? It's done. How many uh, millions of euros did you raise? So we're raising very modest amounts, not to be um, just to have a kickstart for the next development phase. And the private pre-sale had a hard cap of three million euros. Hard cap of three million. It Is there a soft cap or? And it, no, it was a hard cap, and it was completely sold out. Or oh, the pre-sale, of course. Right, and so now we're going into a sale on 10th of February. 
Mm. And the, there's going to be another 7 million available uh, for uh, contributors. So the hard cap is 7 million. Is there a soft cap or...? There is no soft no cap. Soft, the soft, total soft, soft. hard cap is 10 million. Okay, okay, okay. And is there... Uh, uh, how many percentage of the tokens will be circulate? Uh, cir circulate? So we're selling 65% of the tokens, okay. and the 35% is being kept by the company. Okay, and how many tokens? Well, the token raise depends on the amounts raised, plus the bonuses. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, approximately 107,000 uh, tokens for the public. 170,000? Uh, yes. No, 107. 107,000? Well, um, the price is um, 10 euro cents per token. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, just just one step back. You told uh, you have plans for this exchange. Uh, can you give an example of how uh, your exchange can be used uh, by by your pension fund? Um, yeah, what, what kind of extra, extra uh, services uh, can it bring? Uh, well, first of all, it would be um, the pension fund would need to have a mandate to have the ability to invest in cryptocurrencies. Yeah. So, yeah. what we can offer is the rails on which they come in, either as a, as a fix uh, or REST or WebSockets API or a point and click trader. So, we would provide that onboarding and uh, service of the platform as a trading platform. Okay. Uh, but that pension fund obviously would need to have a mandate, uh, yeah, the course. ability actually to invest in cryptocurrencies. And what kind of pairs can you trade? Is it like BTC, U USD? Uh, what kind of pairs uh, are available? Mm -hmm. So today we have only two pairs available. So Euro Bitcoin and Euro Bitcoin Cash. Okay. okay. Um, within a month we're looking to add Ethereum and okay. we're also looking to add Litecoin. Okay, sounds good. And within the next uh, few months, we're looking to add some of the other major fiat currencies and um, any other major cryptocurrencies if they pass our quality check. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, last question. Uh, what the what is the use of the token? Uh, how can it be used within your system? Great question. So yeah. this, this is it. It's going to be a trade settlement instrument. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's a very popular way of using a, a token as a utility token, but for Globotex the additional way of using it is within the loyalty programs. Okay. So and that loyalty program basically means that when Globotex uh, will be listing those you know x amounts of various listing products, we might actually need the community's help. So we will be using that token in order to incentivize the trading or the market making on those on those order books. So okay. the utility token is both utility token for you as a client yeah. and for us as an exchange. Okay, ah, sounds good. Uh, I think we're. Yeah, what are your expectations for uh, the ICO? So 10th February, <laughs> 7 million. Um, I'm, I'm being asked this question all the time, but um, as I say to everyone else, I don't have a crystal ball. I think uh, the best what we can do is showcase uh, what we have done so far and uh, what our plans are for the future. And it really is up to the community to decide whether that future deserves um, deserve the contribution, the attention that we're getting, that we've been getting so far. You already have customers for, of course, Absolutely. within the exchange? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And uh, will there be a personal cap uh, for the for the token? Because uh, some, some of these uh, ICOs are so popular, you have a they are. personal cap. Yeah, they are. We have very high personal cap and, um, you know, in my view, it's a little bit too high, but it is three, three million uh, three million euros. So one person can only contribute uh, the equivalent of three million euros in Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash yeah. or Ethereum. But if I want to invest one, one Ethereum in your ICO, that's possible. There's no minimum. Absolutely. There's no okay. minimum. Yeah, this is the maximum. Sorry, I'm, okay. I misheard. No, no, no problem. Okay, uh, maybe you have a last thing to add to this conversation? Well, um, you know, everyone's welcome to, to come and try uh, this new uh, cryptocurrency exchange, which was a very long time in development, which is regulatory-backed, 
and uh, we think superior, you know, product out there. Okay. Uh, sorry, last question. You sure. see uh, some of these exchanges, like for instance in South Korea, they have a ban on uh, anonymous accounts. Uh, what's your policy on that? We don't actually offer anonymous accounts, no, okay. so we okay. are perfectly in line with um, EU regulation, uh, okay. AML directive. In that sense, we are we are in line with that. Okay. One last question, and that uh, some of these exchanges are very popular. So some of them had like a temporary stop of uh, of, 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 of uh, customers, right. accepting customers. So uh, are your systems, yeah, are your systems ready to to, to grow? We haven't experienced any outages to date, okay. possibly because we, we are um, very little known as of now. Mm. However, it's it's fair to say that our matching engine can handle up to over 1 million messages per second. So okay. it is expected uh, that we are actually uh, more prepared for, for the institutional trader and high frequency trader than any other uh, service provider out there. So okay. welcome. Welcome okay. to try it. <laughs> Thank you very much for Thank your time. You. And, uh, okay. All the success. Great talking to you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>